What's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at Resha Sentai Tokyuger, Tanker Resha, and Car Carrier Resha. Now I'll be the first to tell you that I think the Car Carrier Resha is a silly, silly train, and the Tanker Resha is also equally silly. So we'll take a look at Car Carrier first. It's very stout in the front and is very beefy. The cars up on top do come off, though I don't think they're supposed to. They do come off and they're pegged on by these two pegs. But as I said, I don't know if they're supposed to come off. So you can get the effect of it going like that, but it's just a solid piece of painted plastic, so you're not going to really get any uh, spinning wheels or anything cool. You have red and blue up on the top, yellow and green, and then pink underneath. You cannot get to yellow, green, and pink. They're, they're not designed to come out of here, unfortunately. Overall, it is a nice looking ratio, big and blocky. It does split and fold out so you can get some curvature going on the train. And then it also has a couple of other features, or I should say a couple of uh, moving features, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Next up is Tanker Ratio. Big, blue, and gray. And this is my favorite of the two. I just like the way this sucker looks. If you've watched the episodes, this actually has a large hose that comes out of the top of it to supercharge the other trains. Very, very cool. Other than that, it splits apart and has the same connecting gimmick for a train that the others do, so that is good. But other than that, that is it. Nothing else doing on this guy. No other options to him. So... So, first off, we're going to use the car carrier, and to do that, we will remove yellow, or half of yellow, and simply attach car carrier ratio. And then we get Tokyo with car carrier ratio. And as you saw, the red car fell off. Oh well, nothing I can really do about that because it just likes to pop off. Its attack gimmick was in the show was to simply fold out the ramp and launch the cars right into the bad guy. On its own, it looks absolutely stupid. I'm sorry, just a personal opinion. I think it looks ridiculous. You've got this overly long car carrier thing just sticking off an arm other than whacking somebody with it. It's not really useful. It does have this bend gimmick though, where you can bend the car carrier, but that just looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Now for tanker ratio pulling off the arms and then taking the tanker and splitting him in half. The front of the tanker goes on yellow, the back part of the tanker goes on pink, and then we have what is effectively giant robot train boxing gloves. I'm serious, that's what it's used for in the show. His finisher is punch, 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 uppercut! Seriously, that, that's, that's it. That's what happens in the show. Between Car Carrier and Tanker, I think Tanker works better. Now there are a couple of other things that we can do here, and first of which is give Tokyo longer arms. So we can pop off pink and yellow, and then reattach pink and yellow, so we can end up giving the <laughs> Tokyo some giant gorilla arms for thwacking. So you end up with that. Now, the other thing about these front pieces is they do bend forward to form feet, and that's for Diesel O, or the upcoming Sixth Ranger. Now, these bent pieces do attach to the legs, and I'll show you that here in a second, but I was going to do it with this, but they'll hit. So, <laughs> you can get this, and then fold out these clips on both of the on both a car carrier and tanker and attach them to 
blue and green. So as you can see, we've got extra long arms and then these guys on the legs. So yeah, one way to make this look completely ridiculous. Another long arm mode is simply just putting the trains right on top of pink and yellow. So we have equally ridiculous here. Next, we can give him very long legs. So we can either pull these apart again, which eh, we'll go ahead and do that, pull them apart and then attach them to red and green, or green and blue, sorry, not red. And then put a blue, uh, or put a car carrier and tanker on the legs again like that. So here we have a Tokyo that is so tall he's off the screen. Yep, that's pretty silly right there. Well, we can also just pull these guys off again. And what I like to do, or what we can do, is pull off blue and green just add tanker and car carrier as the limbs. There we go again, off the screen. Overall, tanker and car carrier aren't too bad on their own, but I think they're really going to shine once we get a hold of diesel, diesel ratio, and we're able to form diesel O and whatever the ultimate combination between Tokyo, Tokyo and diesel O are. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video review. I've been Vault Matrix, and as usual, I'll catch you next time.